Welcome to this perfume and luxury channel. Today we're comparing the Gris Chanel Eau de Parfum and Gris Chanel Extrait. Which one is better for you if you are going in between and you don't know which one to choose? Are they the same? Are they totally different? So let's jump into it and uh, let's help you decide which one is better. So Gris Chanel from BDK, I've promised you to do a comparison of these two. By the way, I've done a whole guide to BDK on this channel, so I've pop a link to the video if you want to watch it next. But now let's concentrate on Gris Chanel. You know the notes, you can read them anywhere. I'm here to come and tell you how do they wear, how do they feel. So to me, Gris Chanel is very woody. It's got some fig in there, which is very, very apparent in this fragrance. And it's also coconutty, but coconutty in a more of that woody, clean way. It's a very vibrant of a fragrance. When you wear it, it really lives and breathes and moves and dances when you wear it. So it's a fragrance that doesn't sit too close to the skin. It projects not too much, projection I would say is moderate, but it does project and dance in the air, which is lovely because this is a soft fragrance. This is a ladylike scent. My husband, he loves this fragrance. It's his number one in my whole collection. He says this smells like marriage material, sort of a woman, very ladylike, so soothing, so soft, but just this fragrance smells like femininity. It's stunning, it's different, definitely a signature worthy scent and a compliment getting scent. Now, I was so excited about the X-Tray. Um, I, during the pandemic, I did a Zoom with the founder and I knew that this was coming. I was like, please, please, please come sooner. And I couldn't wait. I've got it applied here on the skin and I've got the original here on this arm. So I'm going to sniff my arms now. Um, um, this fragrance, I was so looking forward to what they're going to do with this fragrance and I'm happy to say it's quite different while still being totally Gris Chanel, but it's very different. I think some people might love both of them, some people might really maybe not like this one as much. To me, I've worn it and also I've let my husband, well, I've let you, my husband has worn it as well for me to really smell it on him because sometimes it's different when you wear it yourself and some other person is wearing it. And to me, this is much more of a masculine take on Gris Chanel, especially the opening. The opening is so much more spicy, smoky, woody. It's just very, very oriental compared to the Gris Chanel. This one is like soft, you know, light, coconutty woody scent. This one, it opens and boom, it's strong, it's present, it's so spicy and oriental. It reminds me the opening of this uh, of Black Iris Interlude from Amouage. And if you've smelled Amouage men's fragrances, they're often full of spice. And this, the opening, totally reminds me of that. But as it dries down, it becomes extremely coconutty, very coconutty. If you love the coconut in here, but you wanted more of it, this has got so much more of it. This reminds me of those wafers with uh, coconut filling, like creamy filling inside, which I used to uh, eat as a child. It's so, so coconutty. It's like you know, Raffa Raffaello, coconut, little round sweets, creamy sweets. That is what it smells like. It's so, so coconutty. To me, sometimes that coconut gets a bit too much, a bit too, it becomes a bit too cloying because I'm like that with a coconut note. I can't have the coconut too, too heavy. So if you're like that, then you know this fragrance might not be for you. But whereas if you love that coconutiness, then this one is perfect for you. Uh, in terms of longevity, uh, this one, the Gris Chanel Extra, definitely lasts longer. Whereas this one, it's also quite long lasting, but not as long lasting as this. In terms of projection, this one has quite a strong projection for the first maybe half an hour. I really could smell it quite a lot, but 
then it kind of dies down to be more of a skin scent whereas this one kind of stays quite the same all throughout so it has more of a projection overall throughout the wearing of this fragrance although i still do reapply them both when i wear them after two three hours that's just me i like my fragrance to be quite a bit more projecting so that is what you might want to do or not depending on what kind of a fragrance you would want and um, i would say gris chanel is much more gourmand edible especially in the dry down now smelling them both this is just so much more cleaner and kind of woody and more of a soapy uh, clean scent uh, compared side by side by this. This is much more of a denser, you know, filler room sort of a fragrance, but it doesn't project as much. But if you apply a lot of it, it will really give you that, you know, thick sillage around you when you wear it. Legende du Cetre, Eau de Parfum from Artisan Perfumer. Um, a lot of people are comparing the X-Ray to this fragrance. I would say from my perspective, having this one, it's completely different sort of a fragrance. This is more dirty, spiky, more of that scent that is very masculine, I would say. and just so oriental in a gourmand but more of an earthier way it's totally different i would say i would never put the two together so i would say if you've got this one and you think x -ray is similar it's definitely not but that's just my opinion i love them both i think i'll wear them both layered and um, because they're quite different but together they smell awesome so if you love the original i would encourage you to at least sample the new one because it is awesome it's just so different but still very similar so i'm sure that if you love Chris chanel then you'll probably love this one as well but if you're looking to purchase your first fragrance i would say that Chris chanel or the parfum is much more likable and much more just a blind buy whereas the extrait i would say it's a uh, you might not like it as much as first you might want to get used to it more so blind buy i would say first fragrance i would say or the parfum is still the best and if i was saying to a friend which one should they buy if they want that scent i would still go for other parfum so this i think it's great but this is still my absolute favorite i would say do you want to smell so we've got gris chanel extrait mm -hmm. i might have to reapply it a bit Mm, well, yes, but my uh, first impression is that I prefer this one mm -hmm. and uh, surprisingly so, 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 yeah. I can smell this one not as much actually. Mm, interesting. No, no, in this yeah. mode. can I smell it again? Mm -hmm. Slightly more this one, yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, and I would say I also prefer this one for sure. Yeah, on me. And this, I'm just so, so passionate about this fragrance for women that mm -hmm. I could uh, I could be an ambassador for BDK and just, uh, <laughs> and or, or like a salesman and I would just go on the streets and just sell this fragrance to, to yeah. women because he it's so it amazing. So it really, yeah. It's really, really good. It's really, really amazing. I would say this one, if you're okay. a guy, I think this is much better for men. I think it's more masculine, whereas this is so feminine. I mm -hmm. kind of, I don't know, like for me, I just I agree. wouldn't, I agree. but you, know, you do you, but I would say this is much more of a masculine scent. Subscribe to this channel if you love perfume. I would love to have you as part of this community. Let me know what you guys think. Have you smelled them both? Have you not? What are your thoughts? Let me you know down in the comment. I'm also on Instagram at Monica underscore Tioch, C I O C H, where I post more about lifestyle and fragrances. So I would love to see you on there as well. I also want to thank my first member of this channel. So she's supporting me in this channel. Thank you so much. You know who you are. I'm just flabbergasted. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.